Hey, welcome back to Twin Cities Live, the rookie from the Garage Logic podcast, co-hosting the show today while Steve is on vacation. We're in the kitchen, sir. Are you excited about this? I am, and I I can't wait. You I can't have wait. Mixed emotions. Yes, I'm a little nervous, because but I'll be okay. We're making salmon. Salmon is a light, nutritious dinner idea, perfect for a summer night, unless you're a rookie who doesn't like salmon. It can be intimidating, though, to make it if you're not familiar with cooking fish. So here to help us out with three salmon recipes for all skill levels, we want to welcome back the creator of So Happy You Liked It. Jamie Price is in our studio. Now, Jamie, I love salmon. Oh, of so course, don't you worry about me. 50-50. <laughs> you know, don't like salmon on salmon you know day. Here, you know what we're going to do? Let's start things off on a good note. <laughs> we got some okay. of our Twin Cities yeah. Live. It's 3 o'clock somewhere. Wow. We got a beer for you okay. from Invictus Brewing. We got a seltzer for oh, you. So regardless fun. of how this goes, we can I promised my agree. wife I wasn't going to drink today. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. All for live television. Cheers. 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 Try this out. Mm hmm. It's delicious. Oh, that's good. Isn't mm. that good? Oh, my gosh. Isn't that's nice great. Let the record show it. that I was the loudest drinker, too. They very <laughs> elegantly took a sip. I took a glug. <laughs> because we're just lovely ladies. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, very elegant. Yeah. Very elegant. Okay, I really like yeah. this. Three different ways to make salmon. We're going to see if uh, yeah. maybe Rookie will really like one of these. Hopefully, we can get them converted. But yes, I am going to walk you guys through. So, I have three different recipes for salmon. Good. So, I feel like this is one, salmon is one of those things that people enjoy, but they might not know like where to start, or there's just a million recipes out there. Yeah. The key is learning the techniques. So I have a roasted salmon, a maple Dijon roasted okay, salmon that, very that we're going to prep. Delicious. I'm going to show you guys how to prep. It oh, has okay. four ingredients in the sauce and takes 15 minutes to cook. Okay, great. So, so you've got yeah. a few different, like, salmon can look yeah. kind of different. Yes. So I have three fillets here. The recipe technically calls for four, but we're going to work with what we have today because yeah. yep. I needed to prep those for you guys. Yep. So why don't we just dive into that? I'll have yeah. you guys get started. So um, Elizabeth, since you are so close, mm -hmm. I'm going to have you just dive right in. Okay, great. So the key for, um, actually, Rookie, do you want to add some salt and pepper to the fillets as well first? Uh, yes, thank you. Put you to work too. It does. Okay. Okay, so for the sauce, we have two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Okay, that's great. That so that in. nice tang, it gives a really nice saltiness to the recipe. I love um, the Dijon. And it also gives like a really good, like it, it forms a paste kind of when you're making the sauce. So I really like that. You know those Grey Poupon very good commercials, salt. how fancy very good they were? Salt. And then the next time you have Grey Poupon, you'll be like, that really is very good It's mustard. very good. It's, it's very like, good. they're not bad. They're right, not no. I think this is. I think no. this is Grey well, Poupon. in those commercials, they were right on about it. I know. Yeah? Pardon me, I always want a fresh ground. Yes, please. Oh, you can take the cap off. Off. Now flip it upside down. Yeah, yep. you can do yeah, it. Yeah, you got it. This is, I don't oh, know. Oh, nope, 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 nope. He's nope. screwing this up. Nope, here. it's fine. Here, pop it off that oh way. Oh my God. Yeah. And then we go that I'm way. never going to be asked back again. Oh, yeah. I will never be asked back again. <laughs> Oh. All right, so moving on, we have one tablespoon of maple syrup. Easy breezy. And like I said, this is for four four-ounce fillets. So we might have a little extra sauce based off how, of how many fillets we have today. That's okay. And then we have one um, clove of garlic. Bring on the garlic. Um, we're also going to add a half of a lemon, so you can grab that and just juice it right in. Okay. I should have a one of those citrus presses. Oh, this yeah, favorite. Ah, look at her. She's a pro. So You good. might have a couple seeds in there. Hey, just deal with it. That's okay. Don't worry just about it. a little bit of fiber in there. It'll be fine. She's a vodka so tonic. <laughs> so you stir that up and that is it and it goes directly onto the salmon and it That's bakes it. for 300 uh, at 375 degrees rather so what do you want me to do minutes. just like coat it like that yeah. oh. i would just yep you can kind of pour it on I it is a little a thin so that's okay yeah. but when it cooks in the oven it's really going to get nice and thick and add so <laughs> oh, it much good. flavor it's delicious it smells, it smells so good yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good. All right. Well, let's so, try this. Rookie. Yes. Let's see go ahead and yes, try it. Jump, jump okay. right in. Okay. This is the, let's the see. big moment. And we've got a seltzer to wash oh, it down. Yeah. I think yes. this is going to be okay. wonderful. Now, the trick is you don't want to overcook salmon, right? Right. And that's why. Okay. So there's two ways of cooking salmon in the oven. You mm. can do a lower temperature for a longer amount of time, which will probably get you great results. But yeah. I don't know about anyone else out there. When I want dinner, I want it now. Yeah. So I do for at 375. You could just do 15 minutes, and it's nice just when it starts to flake. I love is when that. You pull it out. How are you feeling? So, I'm okay. feeling really good about this. Okay. Not good salmon. Yeah. That's okay. It's not, but it doesn't taste like salmon or oh, fishy. It doesn't so taste. Good. It so tastes great. really. Um, so I, yeah, I love the flavor, but I yeah. also I love the sweetness with like that mustardy yes. business. And I actually think, I mean, Dang. you could use that as like a salad dressing. Yes, exactly. Add some olive oil to I it. I always put shit. Dijon in my salad vinaigrette. Yeah. All of this uh, angst for nothing. Well, and I was prepared because you said you didn't like salmon, so I was going to offer up. Jamie. This sauce would be great with like pork chops totally. in the oven. Mm -hmm. Look at going in for like bite number four. It is. That was, it really, it's legit. I'm not just saying that. Look at that. It's uh, got some nice color to it. Good texture. This is, oh mm -hmm. my gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm a connoisseur. Let me tell you how next, to make next it at home. Cooking segment, yeah. yeah come right. back. Yeah, this come is back. Okay, so what? Yeah, let's we talk about the next this, two. and then we want to like switch it up a little bit. Yes. What else so can we roasting do? salmon. Yum. The next one is steaming salmon. So have a little drink. This technique is called en papillote. Mm -hmm. It is French, which simply means in parchment. So you can use this technique for really any protein. Chicken does really well, like thinly sliced chicken. Uh -huh. Other fish, other shellfish. But essentially, what you do is you place on a piece of parchment paper some vegetables. So in this one, I have asparagus, lemon, shallot, garlic, beautiful, olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then with the way that you do it, I have it um, some photos in my article to show you how to wrap it. But you kind of like crinkle the edge so it creates a seal. Okay. Yeah. So when it's in the oven, it steams and all the flavors oh, come together. Yeah. So that one is a lovely, again, super fast. Right, I think that one's right, um, 15 go. minutes as well. Okay, yeah. This is, I think this is going to be really good. Yes. I like this idea oh, too. And soft. really simple okay. seasoning. Mm -hmm. Simple, basic. And then you have your oh, whole yum. meat in a little oh. packet, right? Yeah. Which is really nice. And what's fun about that too is if you're hosting, that can be fun. You give everyone their own little packet, they slice into it, and the aroma just hits them, which is a oh, hint at what's to come. Like that is so sweet. bizarre yeah. that it's chilled. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, and he would really? this warm, but he, she's just You gave it away. <laughs> this is the magic of TV. We eat things this cold all the time. Oh. Nobody knows. Yep. Okay, I want to talk Never about again. this one though too. I want to talk about the grilled one. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Grilling salmon in the summer is kind of like a staple, Yum. right? So this salmon, oops, I may oh, have taken okay. it away too Don't fast. Worry, I'm so right. sorry. Um, this one is a favorite. So the way I did this too is with a Mediterranean relish. So Yum. I did this salmon on my gas grill. Um, it would be delicious mm -hmm. on charcoal, mm -hmm. but what I did is I added a little smoker box. Oh gosh. Um, so you could still get that smokiness from the heat of the grill. Um, the relish that's on it, Castel Vetrano olives, which if you know, can, that's you a good know, olive taste. Yep. those are the you best know, olives. Mm -hmm. Kalamata's red pepper, capers, lemon. Capers, yep. Just really bright mm -hmm. and fresh. And Boy. that, the, the relish itself would actually be also delicious over grilled steak. You know, for a guy who doesn't like salmon, you're sure as heck eating a lot of salmon around <laughs> Maybe here. I just had like a regular salmon like patty and it was just horrible. I don't salmon, know. Like, because this, I don't know, Jamie, this might be my favorite one because I really? love these olives. They're my favorite. And they I just love that. so much saltiness. The smokiness is yeah. so good. Jamie, you crushed it. Ah. So this is something that I could really legitimately do. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And right, each of them take salmon. no time at all. Oh, so. le poisson est très magnifique. Cheers. Oh my goodness, uh, I ça like bon. that. We <laughs> posted a link to Jamie's blog and these salmon recipes on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. And be sure to follow Jamie at So Happy You Liked It on Instagram for oh. more foodie tips.